Okay, sorry about that. That's um, I'm blaming the vet for that because she said, she said try try using the iPad tonight instead of your phone. She said try using the iPad and see whether uh, that that works out better for you. So I, I tried using the iPad and obviously look what happened. The iPad fails. So the iPad can go in the bin. There we go. So sorry about that. So uh, where were we up to? Let me see. Yeah, we did the Angela Merkel question. Let's see, I can't even read this now. I need to take my glasses off, there you go. Cheers, <laughs> cheers. Okay. Right, it's top, top secret, okay. Well then, right, okay then. So we're gonna carry on. We're gonna carry on and uh, we're gonna do so Angela Merkel was number three. Angela Merkel was number three. Question number four, which US state, what is the US state capital of Mississippi? Jackson. Jackson. You want question two? Question two was Bill Clinton's middle name. Bill Clinton's middle name. What was that? Uh, it was Jefferson, I think, Jefferson. Jefferson Bill, Jefferson Clinton. Okay, you can always go back on, on the video and see where it went wrong. I'll, uh, I'll repeat some questions for you, by all means. So number four was the US state capital of Mississippi is Jackson. Number five, what was the name of the ship that the pilgrims traveled uh, to North America in 1620? That was the Mayflower, the Mayflower. What was Bill Clinton's middle name? Jefferson, Andy. Jefferson. You, question two was that was the Bill Clinton question, yeah? Was that where we went off, was it? It cut off at question two, okay. So I start, just to make sure that everybody's got question two. Question two was Bill Clinton's middle name was Jefferson. Question five was the Mayflower. Question six. Which fashion item does Jimmy Choo design? Shoes. He was famous for designing shoes. Probably done other things by now, but shoes was his main one. The next question, question number seven. Uh, the smallest bone in the body is uh, it's in the ear. It's called the stirrup. The stirrup, and you'll find that in your ear. Okay, have you got all the questions, Hazel? Because I know you started to watch again and went off. Okay, next question, question number eight. What is Adam's ale commonly known as? That's water, water. Question number nine. What color is the Mr. Men character, Mr. Happy? He's yellow, yellow. And question number 10, how many players are there in a netball team? That's seven, seven players in a netball team. Are we all up to date now? Do we all know what, um, we've got, all got the answers? Just because we want to move on to your music round. Your music round, like I said, it was played backwards. Um, a lot of his... Uh, some of you liked it, some of you didn't. Just give us a shout out if you did like it, and then we can uh, we might find something else to do next week. So if you liked it, that would be great. Ten out of ten for Louise. Well done. You're doing well. Okay. So your music, your music tonight. We're all played backwards, and your first one was by Dead or Alive, and it was Spin Me Round, Spin Me Round like a record. Question number two, Erasure. Erasure, a little respect, a little respect from Erasure. Next one, number three, was Billy Idol and White Wedding. Billy Idol, White Wedding. Number four, Jason Donovan, Never Gonna Give You Up. You thought you'd listen to the answers first. Well, that's typical of you, that, right? Okay, your next one. 
Next one, uh, uh, never going to give you up, Jason Dominion. Next one was Kylie, Kylie Minogue, and uh, I should be so lucky. Uh, next one, number six, Pointer Sisters. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> question, <laughs> cheers, man. Uh, question number seven was Kim Wilde, Kids in America. Kids in America. Yeah, you're right, Louise, yeah, I think so. I just, it depends on what I've, I was getting confused with the music tonight, so I was just had to sort it all out. Uh, but it was what you said, yeah. Too many broken hearts, that's what it was. Uh, your next question, next question. So, Jason Donovan and Too Many Broken Hearts. Uh, Kids in America, Kim Wilde, number seven. Number eight was New Order and Blue Monday. Number nine was uh, Only Way Is Up by Yazu or Yaz, sorry. And uh, number 10 was Starship and We Built This City. We Built This City. They were worth one point for each correct one. So it's Dead or Alive, Spin Me Round, Erasure, and uh, Give A Little Respect, White Wedding by Billy Idol. Jason Donovan was uh, Too Many Broken Hearts. Can I Know I Should Be So Lucky? Number six, Pointed Sisters, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, number six. And then we had uh, New Order Blue Monday, Only Way Is Up by Yaz, and Built the City by Starship. They were worth one point for each, each correct one of those. Backward music, then it goes, right. <laughs> right, here we go. Right, Matthew, right. So we're going to carry on. Connections. Connections uh, is worth one point for each correct one. And you get your first four and your fifth one is worth six points. If you can find the connection between your four answers. So question number one was this one. Who were Wham's female backing singers that went on to have a solo career? They were called... Pepsi and Shirley. Pepsi and Shirley. Okay, next question. In which film did Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell play cops or policemen as partners? That was Tango in Cash. Tango in Cash. Number three. Which former English rugby union captain was rumoured to have had an affair with Princess Diana? Will Carlin. Will Carlin was the answer to that one. And question number four, written by Neil Diamond, which song was UB40's first number one UK hit? That was Red Red Wine. They were worth they were worth one point for each correct one of those. You can always go back see on and look at the um, video because it will just repeat itself anyway, so you can do it at your leisure. So question so we had Pepsi and Shirley. Tango and Cash, Will Carlin, and Red Red Wine, and they were worth one point for each correct one. Question five is worth six points, and it is drinks. They had all have drinks in their title. So the answer is drinks in the title. For life so far. Are you cheating, Martin? I know what you're like on that phone. I hope you are you playing with Well, I'm not I shouldn't have asked you that really, should I? Okay, here we go. Your next question. Your next round of questions is your TV entertainment round. These questions are going to be worth one point for each correct one of these. We're all going to have big scores tonight, I think. We're all going to be big scores. So we can... Me, my mum, dad and, <laughs> and the dog. Well done. Yeah. Is your mum uh, right? Oh, yeah. I wonder how Dot's doing on her end. Yeah, with Matthew. Dot and Jim, I wonder how they're doing. Oh, what do you say? What do you say? I bet she'll be like that. Right. Question number one. This is your television film round. These questions are going to be worth one point for each correct one of these. Cheers for that. Oh. iPad went off. <laughs> no idea. Anyway, so here we go. Your television film round, these questions are going to be worth one point for each correct one. Uh, 
What is the fictional brewery associated with the Rover's Return pub in Coronation Street? It's Newton and Ridley. Newton and Ridley. Okay. Number two. What was the name of the dog? Or what is the name of the dog in the Eden Blyton's famous five books? Timmy, the dog's called Timmy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the dog was called Timmy. Okay, and question number three. Who played Elwood in the original film, The Blues Brothers? That was Dan Aykroyd. Dan Aykroyd. Next question, question number four. Who did George Clooney play in TV's ER? Uh, it was, well, he played Dr. Ross, Dr. Ross, Doug Ross in that. It was in the TV series ER. Question number five. Question five is this one. In which Australian TV soap did Danny Minogue star? It was Home and Away. Home and Away. Question number six. Who is the presenter of the Channel 4 show Time Team? That was Tony. Tony Robinson. Question seven. Who took over from Magnus Magnusson as the host of the UK's TV's Mastermind? John Humphreys. John Humphreys. Question number eight. Question eight is this. The film Forrest Gump won how many Oscars? It was four. Four Oscars. Question nine. What was, what was the cow called in the TV's Magic Roundabout? Ermintrude. Ermintrude is the answer. Your next question. Or your final question in this round. Don't forget these questions. They're worth one point for each correct one. Question one. Uh, question ten is this one. Which football team did Gordon Ramsay play for before becoming a chef? It was Glasgow Rangers. Glasgow Rangers. Those questions, again, like I said, they're worth one point for each correct one of those. Did it now? I'll check that for you, Mark. I will check that. Yes, it was six. So I've got seven different answers down here. He did... Forrest Gump did win six Oscars, you're correct. And it's in big bold letters in there. I should put my glasses back on now, shouldn't I? <laughs> so I missed the answers to number eight. Okay, Louise, number eight was, uh, the answer to number eight was this one, Forrest Gump. The film Forrest Gump won how many Oscars? It was, a, I think it was a multiple choice. It was four, six or seven. The answer is six. The answer is six. I lost one to eight. Okay, I will I will repeat those for you, mate. On the on this TV round, yeah. Okay, so Mike wants some repeating from one to eight on this on this one. So question number one: fictional brewery in uh, associated with Rovers Return was Newton and Ridley. Okay, question number. Two was the name of the dog in Eden Blyton's famous five book was Timmy. Question three, who played Elwood in the original film The Blues Brothers? That was Dan Aykroyd. You froze, I don't, I'm not froze, I don't think I froze. I'm not too sure. I'm still going on my, my thing. Okay, uh, so Dan Aykroyd. It's, it's my kids probably, they're, they're all, they've all got iPads and things and they're all on the things. So well, what I do then is I'll, uh, I'll go do your entertainment round again and we'll start off for everybody. Low battery now, well done. Okay, right. Work fine for me, okay. So Newton and Ridley was your answer for number one. Timmy, number two. Dan Aykroyd, number three. 
Uh, Doug, Ross, Doug Ross in ER was uh, number four. Australian soap Danny Minogue was Home and Away. Uh, he was the presenter of Channel 4 show Time Team, that was Tony, Tony Robinson. John Humphreys was uh, who took over from Magnus Magnuson. Forrest Gump won six Oscars. The carrot in Magic Roundabout was called Ermintrude. And Glasgow Rangers, Gordon Ramsay. Okay, those questions, they were worth one point for each correct one of those. Okay, so your final round of questions. Two points for a correct answer, minus four for an incorrect answer. You leave it blank, you get no points for any minuses. Okay. Leatherback, leatherback is the largest species of which major reptile order? It's turtles. Turtles. My sound's gone. Right, just there. Uh, I don't think. I uh, don't think it's me. <laughs> I don't think. Is it, everybody else can hear me? Okay. I'll just take you around the house and I'll go and get a a charger then. Still not. I'll find a charger. With our sound. Everybody pinches everything in this house. Right, there's a charger here. Does it work? I'll see what I'm looking at now. As long as you can't see the answers, that's the main thing, isn't it? You're making everybody dizzy now. You're fine now. Okay. Okay then. Um, what's in my fridge? You can't see what's in my fridge. But hopefully uh, we're all there. So, right, here we go. Here we go. So, a lever back. This is number one. A lever back is a major reptile in which order? That's the turtle. Your next one. Next one, an American tennis player won uh, the men's singles Wimbledon's seven out of the eight times between 1993 and the year 2000. And that was uh, Pete Sanfras. Pete Sanfras. Who lives in a house like this? <laughs> As you can see, it was all dark. Okay, uh, that's Pete Sanfras, number two. Number three, largest um, flat fish species is a halibut. Largest flat fish species, halibut. Question number four, in which ocean are, are the Cape Verde Islands? That's in Atlantic. Question number five, which English cathedral has the highest spear? That's uh, Salisbury. Salisbury Cathedral. 404 feet. Uh, question number six. Who was the founder of the Body Shop Company? That was Anita Roderick. Anita Roderick. Question number seven. I'll slow down for the Z listeners, sorry. Question, <laughs> question number seven. I'll show you how to do it. Question seven is this one. Who discovered the smallpox vaccine? That was Edward Jenner. Edward Jenner. Uh, question number eight. When is St. Andrew's Day? It's on the 30th of November. 30th of November. Question nine. What word represents the letter J in the UK TV, uh, police radio communication? That's Juliet. Juliet. And question number 10, a tanner was a slang term for which pre-decimal British coin? It's a sixpence, sixpence. Okay, sorry about uh, losing all the connections tonight I, because uh, I, my kids are having a sleep, sleep over downstairs in the um, playroom. So they're probably all on the internet downstairs and that's what, probably what's causing it. And the wife's upstairs on her internet, so we'll see how it goes. Right, so please um, just post your uh, totals. Post your totals, Louise has already. She's got 59, there's 59 to beat already. 
So if you please post your titles or totals, should I say? Going crazy tonight. Um, I'll probably end up doing a quiz next week. And if you do like the quiz, please keep sharing it and make sure that um, just comment on the music and see what we can do. Something different about the music. We might get well to do some more uh, intros and things like that. So thank you very much for taking part, everybody, and I uh, hope to see you very, very soon. And uh, enjoy, uh, enjoy this nice weather. Take care. See you soon.